What's up guys, Squally and Heart 1000 here. And in this tutorial for RPG Maker VX Ace, I'm going to go through how to make a basic intro to your game and how to uh, do some world mapping and probably even some basic events. So let's get right to it. So what you're going to first want to do is you're going to get an opening map that's going to have nothing but water on it. I just created a bit of land right there to start everything off here. So um, doesn't matter what you call it. Nah, heck, I'm not even going to call it anything. Tile set nothing, leave that be. Graphic, this part is kind of important when you're making an intro. Um, it's all on preference. Like, uh, what kind of background you'd want. So, this one's overused. Like, every single time I see an RPG Maker walkthrough, I always see the dark space. But, let's change it up a bit and do ocean. So, leave this alone, right here. This, what you see right here, is nothing. Um, you may think, oh man, it's uh, blue squares, that's what's going to appear on your game. What What's actually going to to appear is the uh, the thing I just showed you guys, the background. So what you're going to want to first do first is go into your database, go to System, and when you go, title screen, that doesn't matter, you guys can change um, all of this, or but starting positions what you're gonna wanna do here is change the map one to your map two with, which has nothing on it please set the position uh, right in the middle so yeah that's basically what's gonna happen for now um, it's just a very basic this is just a very basic intro right here and um, we're gonna make an event so you, that you can kind of see like um, it's going to be an auto run event too. So, trigger auto run. That's very, uh, very important. So, let's just create like a very basic. Um, this one right here, change uh, transparency state. If you don't want your character to be visible on your opening screen, you turn that on. That way, when your game opens up, your character is going to be invisible, and you can't. All you'll see is the background and the text you choose. So I'm going to make basic text and make the background transparent. It just makes it so much better. And middle, if you want, doesn't really matter where the display position is, but background, make sure it's transparent. So let's just say, hi, this is a video tutorial for RPG Maker. VX Ace. Yay. So that's what you're going to see on your opening screen. That's just a very basic text kind of thing. Now we're going to teleport your character to the world map. Ah, heck, I'll pro I should probably add something first. But I'll, I'll just add this event in and fix. I'll show you guys what I'm going to fix after. So place them right here. Okay. So. Right here, you're going to want to do, um, right before you go to the world map, fade out. And uh, now your screen's going to be black. You can change your transparency state off. Now your character is visible. And then fade in. And, uh, well, actually, you should probably, I'll cut this. You should probably teleport there first, then fade in. So, fade in and uh, apply we'll see how that turned out so yeah that's pretty much basic intro right here that's the one thing I hate is when your character just automatically appears and then whatnot but that's not really anything that you can fix, you can change your character's uh, starting position to be like bottom left or whatever. And uh, change the position of the screen however way you want it, but it's all on preference. So that's a basic intro. Now we're going to do the world map. So first what you're going to want to do, the ellipse tool is very helpful for this. I don't really use square because square is just like very basic 
square kind of thing. That's kind of what I got over here, but I'll, pro I'll probably just get rid of that right now. That looks terrible. Uh, not, not really anything we can fix, so I'll make the whole map look like that. Okay, so now you're going to go to your grass ellipse tool. So there's your there's your world map, pretty much. Uh, and then what you can do is add some mountains. This one you might want to just use a square tool for. Actually, no, I'll use ellipse for that too. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, just create like basic um, mountains over here, mountains up here, and uh, whatnot. We'll add some water to give it like some lakes and rivers and whatnot. And for when you're making towns, go to draw here. You're going to want to use one of these to kind of sig signify a town. So let's just use this one as a kind of example. And uh, to, in order to teleport to your town, you're going to have to make a new map. Um, I'll just leave it alone for now, basic 17 by 13. Uh, your BGM, that's the music you'll hear in the background, so doesn't matter your name, anything. And making a basic town. Oh, man, I should change that. Map properties. You're going to want to change the tile set to... It's probably your tile set, too. I have the Japanese version of RPG Maker, so... That's just... Uh, everything appears differently. Everything will be English on your screen, but... So let's just make all water. So water is going to be like your surrounding, and we'll make grass like... Your basic... Town. Let's add a... Let's add a basic house, too, so... Here's your roof. And we'll pro we'll just add like um I'll I'll do this right here. And then yeah, that that's your basic house or whatever. You can add a door event too if you want. It, but you'll have to create another map for that too. So like new quick event door make your door. But uh for teleporting back to the world map, so new quick event teleport Let's go back to our world map. Specify, doesn't matter, retain, whatever. Map 1. Here, you'll make your uh, basic teleport to your town. So, uh, yeah. So, save changes. Here's your intro screen, whatever. Oh man, I gotta fix that. Let's just go back and edit this quickly. Then I'll end it pretty much right after that. So map one, we'll teleport him here instead. So yeah, there's your intro, fade out, fade in, teleport, and there's your town, and whatnot, right here. So, uh, yep, you can exit too. So that's pretty much basic world map spreading and basic intro. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe to this video, subscribe to my channel, I mean, what am I saying? And um, next tutorial will probably be uh, just uh, basic uh, events like uh, talking to people and whatnot, and uh, how to make like a pretty basic town map. So I'll see you guys next time.